everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys we are going to repaint the new Twyla doll I really love this new generation of Monster High dolls I've already repainted yeah, almost all of them I already repainted Dracolora I already repainted Frankie I repainted Laguna twice I repainted Abby also twice and I've already repainted Cleo also from the third generation so yeah almost all of them I've already customized and today I want to work on Twyla finally I I've ordered this doll already a couple of months ago, but I was all the time busy with different projects, never had time for her, so today I think it's finally the day, today we are going to customize this super cute and absolutely adorable new Twyla doll. I will try to keep her original character, kind of her original features, things that she likes, things she doesn't like, kind of to keep her being still Twyla, but I will... Uh, make her like in my own way. I will of course give her new hair, new outfit, all kinds of new accessories, things like this. So I think it's gonna be a very interesting project. Let's start working on it. Of course guys in the beginning please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday or every second week Friday. Of course please uh, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos here on YouTube and yeah of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy what I'm doing here and this being said let's start the transformation so guys this is the doll and I think that she's quite similar to the previous versions of Twyla the makers haven't changed her too much she has the same skin and hair color the same color scheme in general because Twyla loves blue and purple the cobweb theming is here so I think Twyla kind of stayed the same and I really like it it's a cute doll so now let's undress her let's wipe her face off with acetone so I can create my own version of this doll Everything is gone, now I can seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then we'll start drawing her new face. I want to make her skin tone a little bit more blue to make her look kind of more pale. It will be kind of mix of blue and purple skin tone. I think it will look more interesting than just plain purple skin tone. And for the rest I will keep the original color scheme. She will have this mint green eyes to match her hair color and very light pink lips.
Okay, the face looks cute and now let's do the same to her body. Okay guys, now we're done with the painting and drawing part of this project, so now I can start working on her outfit. Twyla loves spending time in quiet spaces, she doesn't like noise, and she often gets covered with cobwebs, and she's in general kind of cobweb themed character, so I will use this black, I don't know, it's kind of lace or mesh fabric with web pattern printed on it to make her outfit. Uh, then I will also use this purple organza underneath this black fabric, because purple is Twyla's color, and then underneath these two layers I will also add a layer of this light purple or even lilac mesh to keep the shape of the skirt because it's a little bit a sturdier material. So now we'll combine these three fabrics, three layers and I will make a skirt of the future dress. Perfect, the skirt looks ideal, and now I will add the top of the dress. I'm adding a purple ribbon to her neck and I will tie it as a bow around the neck. And to the waistline I've added a mint color ribbon because Twyla always combines this mint color with purple in her outfit. Now the dress is finished and now it's time to add some cobwebs to it. And I've bought a bag of these cobwebs for Halloween. I don't know, you can cover the whole neighborhood probably with these cobwebs. And now we'll do something about it. Let's add some of it to the skirt of the dress. Yes, something like this will look good, I think I'm very happy about it. Mm -hmm. 
So now let's make a pair of shoes for her to go with the outfit. And I think I want to customize her original shoes, turning them into a pair of ballerina shoes. Nice, I think they look really great with the dress, very cute. Now guys, I think it's hair time. I was thinking a lot about her bangs, to be honest. You know, I really hate these doll bangs made out of uh, doll hair. I feel like they really kill the face. It's too thick, it's not realistic, it's not cute. I don't know, I really try to do something about it, but it simply never looked cute to me. So I think we will have to hide the bangs. Yes, check it out, her face looks much better without it. Do you agree with me? I don't know, write it down in the comments. I really love her face much more without these stupid bangs. So now let's crimp the rest of her hair. I think crimped hair will go good with the web structure, web texture, it's kind of similar. And this bun on top of her head, I want to decorate with one of those spiders that came in the back of cobwebs. It fits just perfectly, I don't know, it's a pure coincidence. But I want to use it and I want to decorate its body with black crystals to make it look kind of more glam and sophisticated. <laughs> Well, 
while the glue is drying, I can attach false lashes and add gloss to her eyes and lips. When everything gets dry, I can add some of the cobwebs to her head and then I will decorate it on top with our spider. So guys, this is my version of Twyla and I think that she really looks like a more adult and probably a little bit more sophisticated version of herself. Like, you know, if she grew up, graduated from the Monster High, but she still stayed herself, she still enjoys the silence of empty rooms, uh, spends time in attics, in some closets. I think the cobwebs look absolutely epic. I still have a lot of it, so I will have to make another cobwebs themed doll. I don't know, maybe something for Halloween, I don't know, what do you think? If you have any good ideas for another doll, all decorated with cobwebs please let your ideas down in the comments under this video and now guys yeah let's discuss this doll let's discuss my version of Twyla what do you think about it I'm very curious to hear so let's chat about it in the comments and if you want to buy this doll you can find her on eBay for three days the link you can find in the description box under this video so guys, and that was it for today, that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today, and if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon in my new doll makeover, probably next week Friday, I'm already kind of half busy with that project, so hopefully I will be able to finish it in a week, and I will be able to show you my new doll next week so have a nice weekend have fun guys love you bye